What's up, ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. It's Omnigol on the Nightfall again. I know that's groan inducing for most players, but in case you don't know, you can glitch her. You can go ahead and make that final battle really easy if you've got a nice armor piercing sniper rifle and follow the tips in this video. So if you enjoy it, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. What you want to do is after you take care of that room where the ogre is, run in there until you hear Omnigol scream. After that, it's your cue to book it out. You basically are leaving this entire area. Now this sniper rifle here is my LDR. It's my void LDR and it does have the armor piercing perk on the center tree. If you don't have armor piercing rounds on your sniper rifle, you're not going to be able to do this glitch. It's just not going to work because you're not going to be able to deal damage to Omnigol through the barriers. It only works on sniper rifles if you have it on a scout rifle, hand cannon, whatever it may be, it won't work has to be a sniper rifle. Just want to say that in case anybody happens to go through this whole area, doesn't have an armor piercing sniper rifle, and it's like, hey, man, your glitch didn't work. It's terrible. <laughs> no, it'll work. It'll work. Now, the reason why I ran into Omnigul's final room and had her scream was because it let the game count me as having triggered the next area. If I didn't, what would happen is, after going through all of this, after I killed Omnigul, I'd probably have to invite somebody into my game just to go ahead and run into that room and click off the timer, the final 30 second timer. Just something to keep in mind. Also, if someone runs into your game and joins you whenever you're doing this, runs into Omnigul's room and dies, you're gonna wipe. So if anybody joins your game, make sure you shoot them a message real quick and tell them don't go in, don't die, because it's gonna be bad and you're gonna be really angry at them. Now right here is the hardest part of the video in my opinion. What you need to do is summon your sparrow and sparrow glitch into that wall. To do that, you have to have your ghost out and summon the sparrow into the wall as you're turning. So what I like to do a lot of times is back up against the wall have my ghost out where it says unable to summon vehicle and then turn and hold down the square button or whatever the summon button is on the Xbox. Turn at the same time so that your sparrow ends up coming out right into the wall. And I'm just showing you the fail attempts just to show you that, yeah, it doesn't always work easy. It's just not that easy. And what I'm trying right here is some different methods to see if it's easier. A lot of times what I do is turn a full 180 degrees and I think that can be tough on new people that haven't done the glitch before. So I was seeing if if I could be a little bit closer to my turn to make things easier but you know I really didn't get anything so right here I'm turning all the way around and summoning it and right there you can see I just got right into the wall and once you're in here you're back out of the game you're in the matrix everything's all kind of crazy it's crazy where there are walls there are not walls where there's collision when it doesn't look like there should be collision it's all kind of goofiness like right here you want to go through this wall and once you do that, follow this rock path along here. And down to the right, right over here, is the room. This is the Omnigul Strike, and we're basically walking on top of it. I fell down just a little bit, but there is collision on top of this area, even though it doesn't look like there's anything. You're going to make a bend around this L shape, and as you come down here and see the loading screen, you'll hear Omnigul scream, and you just walk forward, and you're going to fall down. From there, turn to the right, and that dirt that's right over on the side, you want to jump up to that. That dirt mound is exactly where you want to be. Now, be careful not to jump over the dirt mound. There's nothing to the right of where I'm standing except for death. So, just something to be careful of. Now, as you can see, the geometry is kind of blipping in and out a little bit. I'm trying to get it here for the video so that you guys know that there's a ridge up there. But you basically want to then jump on top of this room. Whenever you land here, if you crouch down, you'll be able to see everything else. And you're running over to these platforms. Jump up on top of one and jump up on top of the second one and you're almost there. What you want to do is come around this little pillar and you're going to soon see four little squares right there and when you aim in you can't see them. Those four squares are your go-to point. Whenever you land here go ahead and crouch down when you want to see Omnigol and shoot her because if you're standing up she kind of glitches in and out you can't really see her. Crouching down helps keep her in frame all the time. Now she's going to move around a lot, so sometimes it's going to be a little bit tricky. You may need to shoot another enemy to get her over and interested in you, but you'll hear her screaming as you deal damage to her. The other witches are going to be out. You'll be able to keep track of Omnigul because she's the one that's going to have the glowing blue face. And you can see right there, I was able to go ahead and take her down. It's just me back here dancing and having a good old time. Omnigul's dead. I didn't have to worry about dying at all in that final crazy room. That's it. It's time to go ahead and look at the rewards I got. The glitch really is nice and fun. 
they troll you so bad with the Omni Ghoul strike in general. It's such a long strike, 200 some kills a piece. It's crazy. But for my very first strike solo, again, there you go, 200 plus kills. We end up picking up an exotic hard light. Pretty nice. You know, auto rifles are going to be a thing in the Taken King, so gonna keep that around even though I already have one. On my Titan, you can definitely pop a Weapons of Light bubble to help out your damage on Omnigul. And I ended up picking up a MK4 stand aside. This was actually better than the pair that I had, so I'll probably level those up even though I never use them. Finally, on my Hunter, I ended up running with Raph and Jaspana, and it was pretty nice. Jaspana came at the very end and were like, hey, enjoy your rewards, and there it is, triple exotics. That's pretty nice. Raph actually got the Monte Carlo. That was the last exotic that he needed, so that's awesome. Glad to be a part of that. I ended up picking up an Alpha Lupi, and we also got some Peregrine Greaves, so you can't beat that. What a run of exotics. Three of them from Omnigol. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content, check out these awesome videos, good luck with your raids, your drops, your nightfalls, and I'll see you around in Destiny, Monte Carlo.